A pace car on the way. One driver going to be starting from pit road, but the final incline set to be made by Julian Altona and company. The green flags in the air, and the Road America Grand Prix is underway. Already, Miranda on the push to pass, trying to make something yeah. happen into turn one. Yeah, and that's going to impact fuel mileage, but he wants to make it happen now. Threw one cleanly. Looks like everybody threw one. Now we're coming to two. Bruno to the inside. Now Bruno on push to pass again. Julian on push to pass. But Bruno's pushed the button twice already this lap. Now this is the Moraine sweep. This is actually going to count as a turn right there. There's turn four. Now we're coming to five. Breaking zone. Crowding a little bit through there. Good runoff area now. Coming up the hill in the six. This is not a good place to pass, Bruno. Because it's a blind left-hander. And it's 100% throttle down the straight here, coming to Canada Corner. And in the Canada Corner, breaking zone, slight passing zone there. Right-hander, push the pass, Miranda, for the third time this lap. Ends on the outside, so he's going to take the long way around. Julian's not going to let him have it. They go deep. Still side-by-side -side on corner exit. And big oh, contact. contact there. Miranda going to be in the grass, and there comes Joshua Tucker. It's going to be a three-driver battle here, as it looks like Miranda giving it his all, gets some contact, and is going to fade back. That first lap was such an aggressive battle between the both of them. Miranda's already put down the push to pass three times. He might go for a fourth here, but it looks like he'll settle and drop back one spot and lunge oh, he's just gonna to get send it right it, back. He's just going to send it into five. That's what he does. <laughs> Ormond, we've seen him quick all throughout the season. However, the road courses, he's trying to come alive here and make that alternate strategy oh. his biggest advantage. He just got side right by, side by, by Bell. Bell. Yeah. And if, now they're going to be neck and neck again. By Bell almost went off the track. One Car on the inside. Car on the inside. Tries to do a bit of a reckless rejoin there. Hold it, hold it, let everyone pass and get on the pit road. Battle on the back end of the field. You're seeing side by side. This is going to be Pedro by Bell on Jordan Kernow. Pedro down to the inside there. We're going to keep right on the outside. Kernow does through Cat of the Corner and through again. It looks like Pedro's going to take this spot. Looking at the battle progress here with Yaroslav Donskoy. Now you can see Jordan Hale getting up there with the toe. It looks Crowded. like they're going to be neck and neck in. And just an incline with the advantage to Donskoy. Didn't yeah. even have to send it deep, but yes, Moormont did and now yes we're going to be right there with Donskoy maybe going to help push him through wheel to wheel with Jordan Hale Hale gives there up one go. spot Donskoy yep. might be the next here that's how quick Yaroslav is being crawled up on uh, that, that little jerk of the wheel cost him and Donskoy was up four spots and he just gave it all back there he's going to go down and it looks like he's clearly got a shot at it here 20 seconds if you don't let off the throttle and yes we're going to take advantage of every last second he takes another position away he's up to seven we know Pedro's a road racer, so and we know Mark's not. Mark's Mark's a competent racer, so he should be able to uh, hold his position. And then if, if he has the race, Pedro for it to uh, race him cleanly for it. But we know that Pedro. And there it is, right there. There's the pass. At the line. Oh, something happened to Julian. Trouble with Julian to write down a third. Hey. Fellow third. And it looks like, yep, Bruno got that run, pushed through, and the Julian is going to let off. And as such, you see Joshua Tucker right there as well. So it's going to be hmm. two for one loss for Julian. And with that being said, not going to cost him too much time because it did look like he at least had oh, control now he as bits. he goes down and in. So he's coming on lap nine, coming to 10. Uh, Pedro and Seb in a, in a drag race off pit road. He's going to defend low. That's exactly where a driver want to go. But trouble for Seb Kinder. Rushing deep, lunges the furthest. Ooh. And is going to go very wide as a result. Yes, and he does. A very quick squirm there from Joshua Tucker. They're going to nearly be side by side. But Miranda still gets away with it. Almost a half a car width onto the rumble strips there. Don't go too far. You'll get an X going out of bounds. But I think you can go pretty far in those rumble strips. Bible inside contact into the wall. Bybell into the kitty. Oh no, he keeps it out of the wall, but he's definitely into the kitty litter. So Bybell is now going to lose a couple positions as he comes back to the start finish line. Miranda looking for the race lead, and he's going to use up the push to pass not once but twice in this past lap. And it looks like going to have the edge in a turn one. Yep. Exactly what he was looking for. Yep. Look as yes, Ormond's got an opportunity. He'll slice down low and quickly go to take the spot in the turn one. Yeah, it looks good. like he was pass inevitable. Yeah, good to pass on. He's only got four pushes of the button left. And it coming through right by pit road. Oh. Joshua Tucker down to the Tucker. inside on Julian. Looking for second. 
So kind of happened. This happened to the first stint. Julian went back to third. We're mad as the leader, given the fact that uh, of the drivers that have gone in, Kinder, Kurnow, Ench, Lovern, Altina, Tucker, and by Bell, Julian's going to get right by Joshua Tucker, and the fight for second is on. They'll be neck and neck going up six. Down to the inside, Joshua Tucker going to take it. Pass. And yep. now, without that, going right to the edge of the curbs, Joshua Tucker makes by through six, gets the nice exit through seven, and takes the runner-up spot once again. Julian looked for it and just couldn't seal the deal. All is well for Joshua Tucker to remain advantageous in the fight, but Julian is closer than ever before. Now maybe an opportunity to take it someplace further on the circuit. Now it's going to be down through what would be the DRS zone, coming closer and closer to Cat in the Corner right up next. Ooh, Multiple switches over. go in. Wow. And alt enough for a switch over. Yeah, he's given uh, given Josh something to look at in both mirrors. Into the corner. Canada the corner, it's going to be half a second, but still not enough. Bruno Miranda has been on a tear as of recent, and it looks like his dominating stretch will continue. Coming out of turn 14, this time by the checkered flag, will wave for Bruno Miranda once again, and your points leader extends his overall championship lead at the line this time by Tucker. Takes second, and Julian Altina, despite the last last surge, will come home in third podium decided checkered flag is out and miranda keeps up the fantastic performance yeah good day for the storm good day for uh his friends families and fans that are and it's bruno miranda who will come home celebrating a victory he leads it by three and a half seconds over joshua tucker and